everybody, my name is Paul, and I'm going to make a video teaching you about a game called Nim. Uh, this is one of my favorite games, and uh, here's the way it goes. Uh, it's a two-player game. We're going to take turns, and there's going to be some groups of stuff. So maybe I'll set up a little Nim game. Here's a group of three dots, and over here there's a group of two dots, and here there's a group of one dot. And we're going to take turns. Uh, the winner is the person who takes the last dot. So uh, the way it works is on each turn you can take as many dots as you want but you can only take them from one group at a time. So you could take all three from here or you could take one of these or two of them or you could take both of these or just one of them or you could take this one if you want. Uh, so uh, let's kind of play a sample game, see the way it goes. Uh, it'll be me against you but uh, I'm going to make your moves for you because you can't really do that. So. Uh, I'll go first, I guess. Uh, got a lot of choices. I guess I'll take this one. And, uh, I don't know, you could take these or this one. Let's, let's say you take this one. Uh, and now, so we've got two groups left and they each have two in them. I've got some choices. Uh, I guess I don't want to take these. I don't want to take both of them because then you would take the last two and you'd win. So I'm just going to take one. And now, uh, I don't know, maybe you just take one over here. And now I've kind of got a choice, but it doesn't seem to really matter what I do. If I take this one, you're going to take this one. And then you took the last one, so you won. So that's how the game Nim works. Uh, I'm going to stop this video here, give you guys a chance to play it out a little bit, and then maybe join me in the next video to get a sense of the strategy for this game. See you next time.